in this session we shall discuss the experiment on ic3525 this ic3525 is a pwm waveform generator it is in fact used for uh, uh, gate driving circuits uh, in many converter circuits because pwm waveform is required to switch many switching elements used in converters so to study before studying this buck converter boost converter buck boost converter uh, smps etc the basic gate drive circuit using 3525 uh, is very essential so we shall learn today in this how to set up a waveform generator pwm pwm waveform generator using this particular ic and uh, experiment on this how to get uh, uh, waveforms with the uh, varying duty cycle how to vary duty cycle so that later we can use it in associating with the uh, buck converter uh, bus converter etc so the experiment is to set up study this we need certain components uh, then this ic ic has got uh, this functional block diagram uh, this functional program for the student will be a little bit uh, complicated but uh, we do not need uh, many of these uh, terminals uh, because uh, when you use many switching uh, driving uh, switching circuits uh, together uh, some of the command some of the uh, terminals are used uh, however we shall just have a glance on uh, this uh, the first one that uh, uh, terminal number 3 in this ic uh, reference voltage about 5.1 volt is generated 5.1 volt is generated by varying that voltage actually the uh, duty cycle of that output waveform output waveform obtained from pin number 11 and pin number 14 is varied then uh, uh, biasing supply vcc ground and oscillator output that will be output you get from uh, pin number uh, for the oscillator output you get from this a final output pwm output you get from 11 and 14 this oscillator output if we require you can take it outside so that we can give to another circuit and sync also used when you use more than one 3525 ic's rtct uh, with uh, this discharge pins rtct and discharge rd together uh, used for varying the time period of the waveform then this the time period of uh, i mean then the frequency of output waveforms then compensation pin inverting uh, non inverting pin etc are used in accordingly when we need other associate circuitry soft start etc instead of uh, avoiding uh, abrupt start uh, this c uh, a capacitor connected with this pin number 8 is used and uh, when you need to shut down when it is used in uh, an inverter circuit if that is to be immediately shut down this particular pin is used this is only a glance on the internal function diagram of 3525 the equation uh, for the output frequency given by this equation uh, 1 by the denominator point 7rt plus 3rd into ct where rd and CD, rt are two resistances that should be connected externally and ct is the capacitor that should be connected externally uh, with that uh, ic this uh, <coughs> ic pin ic spin diagram is this 1 2 3 uh, for system in ic it is uh, and uh, the important characteristics of this ic given here like a supply voltage maximum uh, 35 volt while the minimum voltage vcc you can apply is 8 volt then other important terms the dead time resistance rd ct etc these three elements rt ct and rd the ranges are given there at maximum of 120 150 kilo ohm 0.2 microfarad and 500 microfarad respectively these three the circuit diagram is actually in this manner this is a circuit diagram PWM waveform generation using IC3525. Here, uh, ultimately, the output waveforms, two complementary waveforms we get. 
when uh, pin number 11 has got a high output, 14 will have low output. Similarly opposite or vice versa. This voltage, this particular voltage 5.1 is given across this potentiometer. Here we have to use a linear potentiometer, not a volume control logarithmic. This should be linear wire bond potentiometer we should use here. Then this terminal connected to 2, at this point we get a voltage from 0 to 5.1. By varying this, we can adjust the uh, duty cycle of uh, waveforms available at pin number 11 and 14. And this three, these three, RT, RD and CT, which are the components in that equation for frequency, can be adjusted and varied. We can, thus, we can select the frequency of the oscillation of this. Uh, the problem with this particular symbol circuit is that the maximum duty cycle obtainable from 11 and 14 is uh, up to 0.5. In some cases, we need duty cycle more than 0.5. In that case, we connect uh, two diodes and the resistor at the output, just like in our circuit in a digital uh, logic. Uh, the pin number 11 and 14 provide these two waveforms, but we are now derived from waveforms at 11 and 14. Now the output voltage available at VO will have more than 0.5 duty cycle, less than 1. This is what is provided there. So when we need a single PW output with uh, uh, greater than 0.5 duty cycle, we can use this circuit. This PWM waveform generator modified, that previous one is modified to get this, to get uh, duty ratio greater than 0.5. Uh, the design aspect, we assume a voltage of uh, 12 volt because maximum is 35 volt. So, we can select uh, uh, something between 8 volt and 35 volt and uh, resistance R uh, to vary the input voltage given to the pin number 2 is taken as a 10 kilo ohm linear potentiometer. Now, uh, the frequency of oscillation we take up at 15 kilo ohms. If it is uh, uh, at the uh, 4 kilo ohms or so, the problem is that uh, when this network, if it is used associated with some audio systems, there will be a humming sound. So, we keep it as much as possible uh, at the extreme end of the audio frequency that is 15 kilohertz. Actually, our audio frequency is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, but uh, 15 kilohertz is uh, somewhat comfortable. Even we can select above 20 or 25, but uh, we optimally we select at 15 kilohertz, so that the dominant audio frequency is 4 kilohertz to 8 kilohertz. So, we as much as possible kept away from that audio frequency to avoid humming etc. when cut. And, uh, we have certain values, minimum values and maximum values that can be used with RD, CT and RT. Since our frequency is fixed, uh, we select the capacitor in CT as given by uh, the data sheet and RD is this way, we select CT and RD. Once CT and RD are selected, we put in this equation to get RT. RT is 9.1, so we take a standard value 10 kilo ohm. Now, to modify this, we use two diodes and a resistor. Resistor name designated as 1 kilo ohm that is used and two diodes. Diodes should be fast recovery diodes because this is high frequency diodes, uh, which, uh, high, high frequency diodes uh, 1 and 4, 1, 4, 8. Then the procedure of this experiment is just a setup and uh, uh, vary the input uh, voltage given to uh, pin number 2 by varying the linear potentiometer and observe the uh, PWM outputs. After observing that individually, we can modify the circuit to get a final uh, output. So, this is the waveform obtained from pin number 11. This is dead time actually, dead time as we know is the delay between two outputs, one here, the other one here. In between, there should be some delay to avoid simultaneous switching of uh, switching elements when used when it is when uh, this is used in uh, some circuits, uh, which is very uh, dangerous that two elements simultaneously turn on. 
uh, after the processing uh, the time etc uh, we will see that uh, the output wave for this is the voltage available at pin number 2 via so we can see the variation at the at that pin and the corresponding duty cycle variation and uh, when it, uh, that voltage is increased by varying the potentiometer you can find that uh, duty cycle varies it goes up and this waveform we can use for driving uh, other switching elements used in uh, converter circuits like buck boost, buck boost, simple inverter etc. This is when uh, we use that uh, diode resistor network at the output of pin uh, IC3525. This is more output of the modified uh, circuit. You can get a single waveform with a greater than 0.5 duty cycle. When it is secured, we can use this. And now, after in next session, we will study how this uh, gear drive circuit can be used with buck converter.